Alright, well I suppose... Clay flagons. They don't like me poking around their stuff, of course. I suppose we can always try to go look at what the Earth pixels, Pixies need in the meantime and come back. There might be something here we need to pull up for here. It's definitely possible, so let's try that. We'll see what else we get Hello? on this side. Hello? Can anybody help me? I think I've gone the wrong way. And there at the front in the passage. Yeah, I've drunk a lot of that sleepwalking potion. Welcome to my kingdom, stranger. Whoa! A helmet that can talk? Of course. I'm magical. My name's Nate. I'm searching for a powerful warrior set. I'm guessing you're a part of it? Oh, don't remind me. I'm happy to be out of it. The constant riding about, senseless battles, camping in the open. And of course, those other two idiots. What is all this here? And why do you call the mine my domain? <laughs> you could call it good fortune, I suppose. These completely deranged earth pixies found me. They're really into glittery things and wanted to offer me to their god. That ugly thing? Careful. He's vengeful and all-powerful. At least that's what I tell these simpletons. I'm the new mouthpiece of their god, you see. I'm their prophet. Because only I can hear what the deity says. What did you say? The Earth Pixies should prepare another warm oil bath for me this evening. Of course, if that is your will, your worshipfulness. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see if I can fill you in briefly here. Um. So you have a nice life here at the Earth Pixies' expense? That's awful. Jealous that I got here first. Mm-hmm. But aren't you afraid they'll rumble you? <laughs> Earth Pixies are very simple natured. They never find out. And none of them would dare question the authority of the Prophet. You mean the deity himself would have to fire you? Which I would consider pretty unlikely. <laughs> ah, you don't know Nate. What's this here? Did the Earth Pixies build all this? Indeed. They may be thick, but they're also diligent and numerous. The mine shafts stretch for miles into the earth. The earth pixies dig for gemstones. They like anything shiny. How many of them are there? Thousands. One thicker and uglier than the next. So, much to my regret, I need you and the other parts of the set to be able to free the gnome. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm serious. Do you think I've got a screw loose? I'm a god here. At least almost. I'm waited on hand and foot and lead the life of a crown. You don't really think I'm going to give all this up? I have to insist. Won't take long. A few hours and I'll bring you back. Hands off! God! This human has committed an act of sacrilege. He wanted to molest the deity. His worshipfulness is very angry. <gasps> Throw him out. He's no longer welcome here. Don't let him come back. Spread the news. Wooza. But uh, hang on. Wooza. <laughs> okay. Hey. Ow. Are you listening? Ow, ow. Not nice. Get off. Get off. Wooza. Wooza. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're cute. Okay. Hey, hey, hey you. Hey, ooh, keep your freaking little hands off my ghoulies. There. Little hands were all over me. <laughs> Not a fan, huh? Okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything to interact with here. Ah, did they take my other potion? Oh, son of a... They took my other potion. 
I from the paladin I got a couple of potions too. Oh yeah, that was one other thing we did to trick the paladin. Because we needed the paladin to, to drink the potion in the first place. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been. We had to drink, a, like Nate had to drink a little bit of the potion and then give the, all the rest of the potion to the paladin before he could possess the paladin. So we tricked the paladin by basically telling him that we had a new zero calorie mana potion. And he was like, oh, those potions are always so fattening, so sugary and you have to. You usually have to drink one larger than the one you need, and it's also terrible for my figure and all that. My figure and all that. So, uh, so Nate basically <laughs> tricked him, and we got a couple of potions in exchange for the man. We like, we were like, well, you, don't you want to drink your new? Like basically, Nate said, here, take take this potion. He said, don't you want to drink your new potion? He's like, why? And waste it. And he goes, well, you give me some buffs with your paladin magic, and then you can recharge your mana using this. And he was like, oh, I don't know if I want it. He goes, oh, come on. So then he, the paladin was like, fine. Gave him like a bunch of potions that were buffs, basically, and then drank the mana potion and then got possessed, of course, as a result. So now, though, I only have one of those potions here. So unless it'll slide over more, I don't think it will. My guess is those stupid pixies took my other friggin' potion like a bunch of jerk faces. So now I don't know. I can't like paint the pom pom or something. No. Okay. Well, I need to do those two things. I need to. Can I just do this? No, this takes me here. Okay. So go back to there. I wonder either of these if the <laughs> yeah uh, let's see oh hey it's Esther and Gulliver oh okay hey Gulliver ah the living one So in your opinion, what happens now? Lightning will strike the antenna, and the electrical pulse will bring my body to life. My little honey bun is a genius! How could I have doubted it? Only it doesn't look stormy. We can wait. But Wilbur can't! Can't you just tell me where the sword is, please? I'm sorry. The bolt of lightning was clearly a part of our deal. Once it strikes, I'll help you. Yeah, okay. Couldn't be simpler. Yeah, these two fell in love. Once he... She, once she realized he had been using her body and stuff, and they looked at, like, his skull... She, her head looked at his skull, whatever. There was, like, some longing staring and stuff. is kind of awkward. <laughs> and then now he's her honey bun or whatever. Ah... Uh... And you and Esther? We're in love. Great! <laughs> we want to start a family. What? That's How? wonderful. We're going to call our first child Nate. Excuse me? <laughs> How? How are they going to create a family? They're both undead. What the crapping? Okay. Take children that have died? I don't, I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, my I guess is get going. Breathe, feel my heartbeat, that sort of thing. Oh, don't let me stop you. Wonder if maybe the Minotaur can help me again. I don't know though, but maybe. Like he might be able to create weather, for example. And then I also need to see if maybe he can give me an invisibility poster or something. I don't know. Yoo-hoo! I hear you. The sleepwalking potion worked amazingly. Did he apologize? Yep. That is good. So at least one problem is solved. Yeah, but I reckon I've still got some way to go before I can free Wilbur. I am not talking about you or your friend. I am talking about important problems, unsettling problems. Oh, yeah? 
I am out of mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms? The ghost mushrooms. When I smoke them, I can get in touch with my forefathers. I bet. Could you sort some out for me? No way, gotta say no to drugs. <laughs> ah. Maybe. What do I get for it? But I helped you with the sleepwalking potion. And that was very nice of you. Get me the mushrooms, or I won't help you anymore. Well, maybe I don't need your help anymore. But maybe you will. All right, let's give him the mushroom. Stop being a jerk. Why should I give him the mushrooms? Um, because you just made a freaking deal to. You. What? Why would he? Yoo-hoo. I get an option to get it to him now. You. And what exactly are these mushrooms that you want? They are called ghost mushrooms. They are very rare. They only grow near to where there is death. In graves, dead swamps, and such places. I always looked for mine in the crypt. And what do these ghost mushrooms look like? They are small, purple-colored mushrooms with green spots. They live where it's damp and moldy. That is why they smell so old, rotten, and dead. The more rotten the smell, the stronger their potency. Purple with green spots? All right. Catch you later. May the wind... Right. I mean, realistically, I wouldn't want to be around him when I did this, right? Okay, purple with green spots. So this, on there. Why should I paint the mushrooms? Are you freaking freaking kidding me right now, dude? Oh my gosh, why does he not just say, "Hey"? Oh, maybe I need to ask the other guy if he's seen him or something. Hey, boss. Ah, the living one. Do you have the vaguest idea where I might find ghost mushrooms? You won't have any luck here. I'm sorry. But the Minotaur Shaman figured he got his mushrooms out of the crypt here. That's true, but he got too greedy. In the past, he would only pick up one mushroom a week. Recently, he's been taking five a day. The mushrooms have all been harvested. It's going to take a month or two until the new ones have grown. So that means there isn't one single ghost mushroom to be found? I'm sorry. Then I've got a problem. And... What kind of a feeling is that, being pillory-free? It's unusual, but wonderful. I'm not a freak anymore, just a normal, run-of-the-mill zombie ghost. Well, I'm pleased for you. I better get going. See ya. Take care, and remember, we, the undead, are your friends. Okay, so now can I try this, or are you still going to ask why? I've painted the mushrooms completely there. in purple. They're not going to pass as ghost mushrooms, though. The green spots are missing, and the disgusting smell, too. Hunky-dory, and that gives me wonderful purple mushrooms with green spots. Now... Maybe use this to affect the smell? No. Let's see... I don't know what I can use to give it a weird smell. Something down here, maybe? Oh, there's, well, I don't remember what it is, but up the, up here with the ogres, I think there's something that stinks.
Uh, what? Stop. I this interface is kind of wonky. It doesn't want to stay. Oh, uh, they're not smelly. Okay, maybe not then. I thought there was something with the food or something. Maybe not. You guys know all about unpleasant odors. Of course. Do you have any idea how I can make these mushrooms smell musty and rotten? Ha, <laughs> gross. Take a whiff of that. Oof, that'll work, thanks. You're welcome. So gross. I can't even right now. <laughs> Okay, here. Have your gross, nasty mushroom. Look, ghost mushrooms. Ah, excellent. And what a potent aroma they have. Let's not talk about the friggin' smell anymore, okay? Plus no. Oh, all of the other paints went away. Oh, interesting, okay. So I don't know why I was blending all the paints together then. <laughs> so that was kind of pointless. I just needed purple and green, but okay. Yoo-hoo! Uh, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, okay. A bolt of lightning has to hit the antenna at the crypt. Can't you as the Rainmaker sort out the appropriate weather? I can summon the rain, of course. But lightning, that's another matter. How's that then? It's another dance. Very difficult, very strenuous. I am too old for that. Can you teach me how to do it? You have brought me the mushrooms, so I will help you. The dance steps are written here. You are welcome to try your luck. And if I get this dance right, if the gods are willing, we'll get the right kind of weather? No. The dance is an insult to the gods. They will try to stop you and throw <laughs> lightning bolts at you. Fantastic. So he's going to have to dodge that lightning? That is exactly what you want. And now, please excuse me. I want to try the new mushrooms. Okay. Catch you later. May the wind... All right. She gave him back the mushroom. So we had the mushroom. We had paints. We painted it purple. Then we painted green dots. Then we handed the mushroom to Esther. She went like this on her armpit and made it smell all rancid because the mushrooms are supposed to smell nasty. So then she gave it back to him. So then he went up and gave the mushroom to the minotaur. Yeah, it's gross. It's 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 really gross. That's That's... I don't even want to talk about it. It's so gross. All right, so we're going to save this. Uh, I think we'll just go back. We'll just start at this again. Well, I don't know. Thing is, I may not remember that I've done back at zero one. So we'll just do this. Zero nine. All right, so now, there we go. All right, so now we're going to quit the game. Because I got to go early today, so that is going to be it for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'll keep uploading. I've made quite a bit of progress. I am only behind now. Well, not, not counting today's stream. I'm only behind something like a stream and a half. So I'm catching up. So, I mean, I've still got a little ways to go, of course, but uh, it's not all that far i don't think so we will why is this see this does this cutting off thing i don't understand how i get it to show more of well whatever anyway 
So that'll be it for today. So thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I should have more. This last week just didn't work well with getting stuff uploaded. So I'll get more stuff soon and uh, apologize for the delay in the next parts of other series. Anyway, and so I'll get more of Book of Unwritten Tales up. And then also I'll get more of We Happy Few, Last of Us, Elix up as well. I've been working a fair amount on my Daniel, my next Daniel of Mayfair for Amnesia lore video or, or biography video done. So I'll be getting that hopefully soon too. I don't know how much I still have to go on it because I haven't really figured out what all still needs to go in the video, but I've made a pretty good amount of progress. So hopefully that'll be a thing soon. All right. Well, that's going to do it. And hopefully next weekend also, I should be streaming again, I believe. And hopefully next weekend we'll figure out how to finally progress on never again, but whatever it is, I'll see you guys next time. Till then. Peace. When I start